Hey guys, it's Magaz here and today I'm going to be bringing you a super quick tutorial on spray painting your guns. Now before we get any further, I'm not going into the camouflage techniques of spraying your guns, just turning your gun from one complete colour to something a little cooler like this P90 that I painted yesterday. If you want to learn how to camouflage your gun, there are plenty of other tutorial videos out there. Like the one that I'm going to link in the cards right now is one by Dayton at House Gamers that he just threw out there two days. I'm recording this on layering leaves and vegetables over your gun to get a camouflage sort of effect. What I'm looking at doing is making it look like this. So it's cool, it's kind of two tone. There's still these black appointments on here, but the main color of the gun is now tan rather than black. So to accomplish this, we're going to need a few basic tools. So if you head over to Halfords, you can actually pick up this. This is Halfords on brand camouflage spray paint. It isn't obviously camouflage, it doesn't, it doesn't come out like this because that'd be almost as daft as tartan paint. But anyway, it does come out in these colors and it is ultra matte. It's available in OD green, khaki, tan, brown and black and it says all four colors give the full camouflage effect. Now, the reason why these are great is because they are ultra matte. The, there's no gloss finish at all. It is very, very matte. You can see from this P90, the finish you're gonna achieve, it looks absolutely flat and beautiful. It's a fantastic finish. And that's the finish you're gonna want so you don't have a big old shiny gun and give yourself away. Now these, come in at about $7.99 a can and they are easily available at all Halford stores on the spray paint aisle. Cool. The next thing you're going to need is a can of primer. So basically primer is an undercoat and we're using grey because that's what the lid of this spray paint says. Use grey gray primer. Now rather than spraying it straight onto black which would leave a darker finish to the colour by adding a lighter colour as a base layer it allows the actual colour that you're spraying on to pop and look a little closer to what it looks like on the labels on the can. Then another spray paint that you're going to need that a lot of people overlook is a good matte finish lacquer. Now this craft enamel is super matte as well so it doesn't give a gloss or shiny finish and this protects the paint that you put onto your gun and stops it from being scratched off and makes it last a little longer. This one's Still got a little bit left but it's running out but this again is only a few quid and I picked this one up from Wilkinson's. This was a quid down at Pound World so cheap and cheerful. Masking tape. This is the most important piece. A good pair of scissors, a craft knife, a pokey thing and the appropriate tools to disassemble your gun. This is what's going to stop the paint going into all the areas that you don't want paint. I'd also recommend a few little bits of paper, whether it be newspaper or just little squares like this to actually mask off larger areas. But generally, good masking tape will do the trick. This is a KWA Glock 19. So we're gonna respray this in green and we're gonna respray this in khaki. So it's a two-tone pistol so you can have an idea on what you can accomplish using this technique. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually make sure that your pistol or the gun is unloaded and safe to work on. There's nothing in the chamber, hammers down, everything's safe. Cause you don't wanna be negligently discharging your gun as you are working on it. Cause that can just lead to all sorts of shenanigans. You don't want that. You don't wanna look like a dickhead either. So think about it. There are obviously areas on here where you don't want to get paint. So all of these are gonna to have to be masked off. And for that, we're gonna be using masking tape and that paper. Now the slide is a little simpler to work on because what we can actually do is disassemble it by taking all of the working parts out. I've already removed the screw to make this a little simpler for the video, but so now we don't actually have to mask anything off on this. We can just spray the entire thing. Now the important part, the most important part, and the thing that should take you the longest about spraying your gun is actually sitting down with a masking tape and masking all these areas off. Now I'm going to start with the trigger and then move on to the peripheral areas. So I'm going to do this super quick and probably speed up the video so you don't have to watch me 
actually attaching masking tape to all these areas but it's definitely worth taking a little bit of care and attention to detail when you're doing this part because it's easier to add masking tape than it is to actually remove paint afterwards the biggest warning that i'll give you about doing this is spray paint your guns is ridiculously addictive you're going to spray paint a gun and then you're going to look at the rest of your guns in your gun locker or wherever you keep them you're going to be like oh they look really nice tan and before you know it 90 percent of your guns are going to be spray painted and then you're going to be like oh god what have i done so there we go this is all taped up now ready to go but you'll be able to see that i was actually having issues with this tape sticking to the working parts because there's a lot of lubrication up there so it wasn't actually adhering to that surface so i had to switch out some gaffer tape which sticks to pretty much fucking everything so all up here is gaffer taped up and there's a few places down here where the tape wouldn't stick so as long as it's covered it should be right obviously this is covered as well so now everything is masked off we are pretty much ready to go out and spray this i'm also taking this base plate so i can paint that as well so we're outside now in a well ventilated area but a not too windy area and i have laid out the three pieces that i'm going to spray paint so we've got the actual frame the slide and the base plate i'm going to give them a little bit of distance between each other so i can get a nice even coat on all of them and then i've got a fresh can well not a fresh can but an almost fresh can of this spray paint now I've given it a bit of a shake before I've started recording, but you've got to definitely make sure that it's shook up and ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to be about 30 centimetres, so about a foot away from the subject, and we're just going to give it nice, even coats. Give it a quick test spray first over there to make sure it's actually feeding properly. And then, like I said, nice, even coats. There's no rush. Super slow. Just want to make sure everything is evenly covered. Let's get this other side done. Make sure all the edges are even. So this part is now completely dry, which is good and then this is also dry these are going to be the same color so they can move to the same part this is going to be a different color so i'm going to move it but this is the camouflage spray paint by halfords in khaki and we're going to go for it so again as with the primer it's all about keeping your distance not getting too close nice even slow strokes you don't want to be too close and spraying in one area like this because all the paint will build up in these detail areas and you'll just lose the detail you won't be able to read the trades on the pistol and it'll look crap so it's all about thin evenly controlled layers just like that nice and slow again with this it's not something that you should be rushing so if you're having to rush out don't start something like this because if you want to do it properly you got to take your time and concentrate So again, nice, even, slow coats from a distance. Oh, I like this green, it's a very nice green. It's especially when it's on the, the gray primer, it looks brilliant. So there we go, we'll leave that to dry and the slide to dry. We'll come back in 10 or 15 minutes. That slide is completely dry to the touch which is good so now we'll bring in the frame and pop it in there and put the base plate which i kind of smudged picking it up to move it which is a bit of a schoolboy error and now we're going to go with the lacquer so again give this a big old shake this is running out but there should be enough to do these now with this you want to do it exactly like the paint about 30 centimeters away and nice even controlled strokes don't get in too close because it'll clump up and it'll it'll look shit 
so it like you don't actually even need a whole lot of this stuff and as with the primer this dries super quick let's go to the other side so you can fly through the stage now it's the best part peeling off all the tape and reassembling the gun to see how you work has paid off so we'll start by just taking off this tape around the trigger here and that pokey thing just like my favorite bit when it all starts to come together just scratched it well done and then let's throw everything back into here There we have it, the finished thing. So you can see there are a few small imperfections, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Wait a minute. Carry on. All I need to do really is add the sights back onto it, and I've got a pretty nice, unique looking pistol, and I think we can all agree that it looks a lot better than it did with that really shiny sort of crap paint that was on there earlier. This bit's kind of bugging me now. I've botched that bit. Bit too much tape, but it's okay. So there you go. There are a few other tutorials out there on how to paint guns that are probably a little more in-depth than this and maybe for other things like camouflaging or weathering. And for those, I'd recommend checking out the links that I'm going to put in the end cards. So go and click on those videos. One goes to Adam Savage on Tested who paints up a Nerf gun and is absolutely incredible. The quality he he achieves on that on that gun just with a few simple weathering techniques and do the I'll, I'll send you to data and house gamers because this video was pretty cool as well so there we go thanks for watching this is cbmpc tv i'm a gaz and remember kids the air may be soft but our balls are hard